Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of and of course today we're Fallout 4 and it's episode 29 <clears throat> pardon me so yeah what are we up to today well we've got to make our way down to the glowing sea, sea, sea and try and find Brian Virgil he is uh, someone who has got some information I hope that is going to help me to uh, advance the storyline towards finding my son. He should have information on how I can get in to the Institute. Um, we'll find out for sure once we get there and like that. But yeah, I thought I'd take a break from the building <coughs> and the uh, logic gates because that's what those are called. They're not switches, they're logic gates. In my last video, I kept calling them logic switches and the wall switches and switch A, switch B and the logic switch and then switch this switch to that switch and it just got a little kind of confusing. So to clarify, they are logic gates is what they're called. Now, let's get back to the old trigger twins here and see what kind of mischief we can get up to in the wastelands today. So please do join me, won't you? Okay. Let's go get some of this. Now, yeah, do a quick little save before we head on here. Oh, is that a dispense? It is, isn't it? It is. Would you look at that? Hubris TV strikes again. Yeah. If I remember right, I think I still have some toy boxes on me. What do we got in here? Now, you see, an intelligent man would hold on to his toy boxes until he could afford something worthwhile, like power armor. But you guys are stuck with me, so there you go. <laughs> oh, there's my all brand spanking new backpack that I got through the Creation Club. I like it. It's more aesthetic than anything, although it does uh, add to my carry weight a bit and like that. And there you are, you bugger. Yeah, it adds to my carry weight. Now, I had wanted to get one for Piper as well, but uh, no such luck. You can only buy the one. But say to me, and like that, and like that. Right, kiddo? What are you going to do? Hey. Eh? Okay, now let's just check you out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll get you with the assault rifle, I think. I don't think 10 millimeters going to cut it where we're going, kiddo. Hell, I don't know if we can cut it where we're going, man. Although I bought along a lot of uh, Rad X and uh, Rad Away and like that, so we should be good. I gave Piper about 10 each of Stimpax, Rad Away, and Rad X, and I got a bunch on me. So hopefully that will fend off any radiation poisoning and sickness and the like. Yeah, what? have we got over here? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Huh. Robotics Pioneer Park. Okay, I see. Right on. Whoopsies. Contact. Okay, target down. Oh, now the target's down. I'm liking this new rifle here. It's a plasma gun. Plasma rifle. I don't know if it's really a rifle. I don't think it has rifling in the barrel. So therefore it would be a gun. That's the difference between a gun and a rifle. Is uh, a smooth bore, like say a blunderbuss or a, an old school musket. Oh, hello. What are we doing over here? Oh, get rid of this guy. What is the Brotherhood doing? Hmm. Anyway, yeah, so <clears throat> a weapon with rifling in the barrel would be considered a rifle. And if it was a smooth bore, like a musket or whatever, a blunderbuss, that kind of thing, a shotgun, it would be a gun, right? You know, a shoddy would be a gun. It doesn't have rifling. Now, that being said, you see sidearms 
have rifling in their barrels, but that does not make them a rifle. Okay, it's a pistol, it's a sidearm. What it isn't is a gun. If it has rifling in the barrel, it is not a gun. However, this, I don't think has rifling in it, so I'm pretty sure it's all. Oh, Lord, love a duck. Okay, that merits a little peekaboo. Man, oh man, oh man. Oh, I see. This guy must have been here earlier. He's got himself perished, and they've come looking for him. That's my guess, but what the hell took him out of the air like that? Ooh, my spidey sense is tickling. Okay, head on a swivel, Piper. I think we're in the shies of poop here. Yeah. Oh, okay, we got mutants, that's what it is, you can tell by the hanging bag. <clears throat> so we'll have super mutants to deal with, no doubt, and I'm guessing they had some sort of fat boy or whatever. But yeah, that makes sense now. That's p Okay, whoop, we got bodies. Ooh. Sorry guys, but clearly you don't need it anymore and I can use it, man. So. There you go. Okay, well, sad for them, but score for me and Piper, because we got more power armor parts that we can work on and like that and like that. Okay, let's go in here and uh, just see what we can disturb. Oh, contact. Oh, he's the master. Hmm. Well. Okay, that didn't work. Ooh, tough guy. Okay. Still. Okay, we're going to have to get closer here. That's all there is to it. Wowzers. And this is a powerful weapon, man. Huh? I mean, this will literally gooify you. Okay. Oh. Holy hell, man. This guy is just tanking the lead. Well, it's not plasma in this case. Wow. Okay, yeah, gently with the boom booms, man. Okay, there we go, cars exploded. Yeah, he was a bugger. I'll tell you what, I guess that's why they call him the master. There we go, little doctor feel good. Okay, a little rad away and a little rad X there. We should be good to go for a short now. Okay, where are you two? Buggers get dug in, don't they? There you are. Okay, nope, I'll get to you from here. Here you go. Okay, it's where are he's up there, is he Piper? Okay. Uh, my wife was <clears throat> talking to her sister-in-law's daughter, so our niece-in-law, as it were. She was six, maybe seven at the time, something like that. Six, I think, because she was pretty young. But uh, she was visiting, and, and my Jennifer was visiting. Come here, you. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Bear with me. Here we are, coming out of the woodwork. Lord, love it out. Okay. Oh, okay, let me get this dealt with and then we can continue on with our narrative here. What was it the 
the guy said. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's just do this. Thing on time here. I get sidetracked. Hey, damn it. Okay. Oh, ouchies. Alrighty. <clears throat> Pardon me. So yeah, uh, my Jennifer, she was visiting with her niece and that though. Once and uh, I was in bed sleeping because I, I worked nights back in those days. Was this and uh, she had asked about my whereabouts and Jennifer said, well, he's sleeping during the day because he works nights. And uh, she looks up at Jennifer and goes, oh, he's nocturnal then. <laughs> And uh, I mean, for a youngster like that nice. to come up with that, I thought that was pretty cool when she told me about it the next day. I thought that, that was pretty funny. Than I expected. But anyway, natter, natter, natter. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> I've been known to be a little chatty at times, that's for sure. A tad loquacious, as it were. Like the, uh, the man said. Bid me discourse, and I shall enchant your ear. <laughs> Ten points for anybody who knows where that quote comes from. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a hint if you go to Blackpool in the UK, down and on the beach, there's a theater there. And that is written above the dance stage. Well, there's a little hint for you. Ooh. That is the first time I've seen the mysterious stranger miss. He's a helpful little bugger. Okay, well, moving on here. Bibbity bobbity boo and all that. Oh, there it is, kitties. We are getting close. Oh, my, 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 my. We are on the edge. Living in the fridge. Yes, I know, it was the Weird Al version. Haven't heard much from him of late. I think he's retired and resting on his laurels. Oh, my Lord, will you look at this. Oh. I'm glad we loaded up on the Rad X. And oh, no, 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 Look, back up. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Yeah, that went better than I thought it was going to, trust me. Oh, man, we uh, are down to 36 of 36 rounds here in my brand new toy. As long as we don't run into too many more death claws, we should be all right. Oh, this is just craziness. Capsized factory. Okay, well, we're here. We may as well have a look, see, eh? Okay, tippy toe, tippy toe. Oh. Let's just uh, say hello, shall we? Oh, my God. Man, I just get a bead on something. She got straight in front. Again! <laughs> okay, kill. Come on, now. Well, fun times. Okay, what do you got? A can. All of this for a can. <laughs> oh, got the caution sign. Got somebody's attention. There we are. Down. Alrighty. There's 
for you. Little dark feel good. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, we have a safe. Is that? Yes, it is. Nice. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, oh, that was pretty close, actually, gently. No, up just a hair. Sweet eyes. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, and of course, we got a little rat away down here. Um, like it. Alright, moving on here. Oh, I see. Cool, cool. Oh, Radex, nice. Oh, score, because where we're going, we're going to need it. All right, well, let's uh, get back on our journey, shall we? Yeah, this one up here wanting to bite me. He asks, oh my gosh, no sooner the word than the blow. Holy freaking fracking. got all kinds of fun things down here. Any more? Nope. All right, come on, Piper. Let's get the heck on our way here. Hey, oh. Found them and they not look friendly. Oh, schmutz. And I'm down to ten freaking rounds. Oh, Lord, love a duck. My, 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 my. Okay, that's the end of that, man. That's the name of that tune. Switching over. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. There goes the monkey, the crater of Adam. Okay, let's put that away. Word so of Adam's glory must be spread to all. Excuse me. May the glow of Adam guide your path. The world will see Adam's glory again. Alrighty then. Moving right along. Love what you guys have done with the place. Gotta say. If there was a, an award for toxic you dwellings, you guys would have it. State your purpose, or be divided in his sight. I'm here because I need your help. Do you seek division? Have you come to merge with Adam, to be split in his infinite glory? Or do you seek to tear down his followers? I mean you no harm, I swear. Few make the effort to travel so far. Very well. You may stay for now, but know that we are watching. Violence will not be tolerated. May Adam bless you with his glow. I need to speak with you. What do you need of me, child? I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Have you seen him? Yes, I know of him. What do you want with him? I just need some information from him. I see. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Adam. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. None will escape the Great Divide. All those seeking Adam are left. Or is it something more potential? Okay, well. Thank you for the information and uh, like that and like that. So long and thanks for all the fish. <laughs> Ten 
points for anybody who knows what that's from. Just rad scorpions, but glowing rad scorpions, you know. Just straight up rad scorpions aren't enough. Okay, there we are. Another one down. Still got danger. What's going on, man? How many buggers are there? Oh, 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 big, big. Oh, lovely, an albino. She said approach with caution, so let's just tippy toe here. And, oh. oh, okay, they're not shooting. Fair dinkum. Hold it. There he is, Brian. Nice buddy. And slow. No Dr. Sudden Virgil. Moves. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg? Huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Take it easy. Kellogg's dead. Dead? He's... dead. Don't you lie to me! <laughs> He's dead, whether you believe me or not. There's no question it's difficult to believe. Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? I know you were part of it. And you escaped. They sent Kellogg to kill you. How the hell do you know any of that? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me! Why are you even here? What do you want? Relax. I just need to know how to get in there. Wait, what? Are you serious? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? I'm trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. Oh. No, I had no idea. I'm sorry. 
Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help, but I'm going to need something in return. You help me and I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you're going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. It could return me to normal. You understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to me. I think that's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you. All right? Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? Sure, lots of them. Don't bullshit me. More than one of them and you wouldn't be standing here right now. Coursers are Institute synths, designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You're going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay, let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pip boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to... not get killed. Not gonna lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, Remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Well, okay, there we go. Thank you, Mr. Virgil. So, next leg of our journey has uh, been done. Now I uh, gotta go track down this other thing. Little quid pro quo going on there. We got to do a little favor for Virgil. I don't, well, Brian is his name. It's Virgil's his last name. But anyway, my friends, I shall catch up with you in a moment here when we get back home. The sooner we get out of this radiation, the better. <laughs> my, my, my. Nothing hostile about that, eh? Okie do as we were out of there. Okay, yes, please, Red Rocket. Oh, man. I need a shower for, like, about a year to wash some of that off. Alrighty, two, three, four, long wind to turn me home. <laughs> 
There we are. Good stuff. Well, another successful close and like that and like that. So that's cool. So now we know what we got to do next. We just have a little sleep here and heal up and get like that and like that. And uh, yeah. So I think that's going to wrap her up here for the days, guys, and uh, like that and like that. So we, like I say, we, we learned a fair bit. We know what we got to do next and what have you. So yeah, awesome sauce on that. But in the meantime, and in between time, my friends, brightest blessings, yeah? Love and light. Hey. Okay. Yeah, go tell somebody you love them, yeah? Make their day better. You'll feel better for doing it. Okay, love to you all. Bye for now.